Hey guys, welcome back to Drawing with Junie. So today we're gonna be drawing Freddy Fazbear from Five Nights at Freddy's. It's a video game that I recently like. I I don't play it. It's it's horror, and I do not like horror game. But I recently read the books, and it's it's a really fun um, game in in when you play it, I guess. But it's also horror. So we're gonna be drawing the main character from that game, Freddy Fazbear. So I'll see you in a second, guys. <laughs> Okay guys, so now we're gonna start drawing Freddy Fazbear. I'm gonna be using a Sharpie marker, but you could use whatever you want. And yeah, we're gonna get started. So, um, Freddy Fazbear is actually a very interesting character. He's kind of like, he's a bear, of course, and he's standing on his two legs. But there's a lot of details that make him look scary. They're, they're actually called animatronics from Five Nights at Freddy's. They're like robot uh, animals. So we're gonna start off now. Um, we're gonna start with his head around here. Make sure you leave enough space for the body. And he has a little top hat, so don't start all the way over here. Okay, so we're gonna start by drawing a curved line like this. Just one sec. Yeah, just so that on the top. Don't make it too big also. Okay, now after that, we're gonna come a little down from over here. And then we're gonna curve on to the side, like that, okay? Now this might look a bit weird right now, but don't worry, it'll look great in the end. So after that, we're gonna curve in a bit, like that, okay? Now we're gonna do the same exact thing on the other side. We're gonna make that line going out, and then we're gonna go curve in. Okay, so that's a bit of his face. Now, he has huge, um, I don't know what they're ca called. It's kind of at the top of their mouth. So, um, we're gonna draw a little curve from over here, coming all the way up over there. Okay. Now, we're gonna draw a little, like, oval kind of shape over here. So, it's gonna be like this. Okay, that's Freddy's nose. Okay, and now we're gonna, from over here, go down at that curve. Okay, yeah. So, now we're gonna draw the eyes over here. Okay, and there's something a little different about their eyes. So, just one second. But we'll draw it and then I'll tell you what's different. So, first we're gonna draw a circle over here. And it's kind of connecting to the nose. It's not like too far away. So, we're gonna draw the circle over here. And we're also gonna draw another one on the other side. Okay, now for the eyes, we're gonna draw, we're gonna leave uh, all the space, we're gonna draw the eyeballs. So it's just gonna be one circle for now. Okay, but now something that's gonna change is we're gonna outline the sides a lot. So wait, so I'm just gonna out go ahead and outline the sides a lot. So this is one part that makes them scary, if you see. Yeah, there we go. So now we're gonna color in Freddy's nose. It's gonna be black, um, but you can leave a little spot for like a highlight, it's like just in the center, over there. Yeah. Okay, I'm liking Freddy so far. Um, now, from the sides of his um, head, we're gonna draw his ears. We're gonna draw a tiny line coming out. You can draw one right next to it on this side. Then we can draw a straight line over here. And then we're gonna draw a curved line going up like that. You can also make a curve from, from the other side going up. Yeah, cool. And uh, we're gonna draw a little outline to show the inside of his ear. So we're just gonna go ahead and trace the same shape inside all that pretty cool okay now we're gonna draw his eyebrows he has huge eyebrows so they're gonna be we're gonna draw one line like that then we're gonna draw a line going out and just connect you can do the same thing on the other side but like just in a different direction so like that yeah and just go in ahead and color them in okay pretty cool now we're gonna draw the rest of his mouth. 
So firstly, we're gonna draw a straight line from his nose coming down till about here. Now from over here, you can curve in to that point from each side of the big thing over here. Okay, now inside that you can make three dots on the sides if you want. Actually, not if you want to be that, that makes it look a lot more like a animal or a bear because um, they kind of have spots there. I don't know what they're called though. Okay, now we're gonna draw his uh, other ear. So on the other side, we're gonna do the same thing by drawing two lines coming out. Then we can draw a straight line. And then you can go ahead and draw those ears. So we're gonna draw a curve going to the about there and another curve from the other side and you can um, trace it in for that okay pretty cool i like his ears they're nice and now we can draw his top hat so over here we're going to start by drawing a little line coming out of his head now it's going to go curve all the way around to the other side of his head and you can draw a line going in then we're gonna draw from over here, like a little outside the edge, like over here. We're gonna draw a line going up. Then you can draw a line going to the side and then going down. Okay, I like that. So now we're gonna color in the hat, but in the middle, like no, actually on the, a bit of this side, we're gonna leave it a little white. And then on this side, you can color it in. So that kind of, and leave a little space white so that kind of makes it look like a shine you know you can make it a little smaller if you want yeah i like that and you can color in the brim yeah okay now we're gonna make the rest of his face the rest is a bit like he has a fat chin he has a really fat chin so from over here we're gonna draw a line coming down and we're gonna go to the side by curving around like this, and then we're gonna go up. That makes him look a lot more like spookier, if you ask me. <laughs> so um, now from over here, we're gonna draw a small line coming down from both sides, like that. And then you can draw a curved line going all the way across like that. And over here, you can draw a little line to show him, a line separating his chin, and then we're gonna draw some teeth in here. Um, so, but they're gonna be a bit separated because they're not exactly um, human-like, they're robotic. So we're gonna draw one te tooth here. So all we're gonna do is draw two lines, okay? And uh, for the next tooth, we're gonna leave a little space and draw two lines. Now this might look a bit confusing. So you, if you want, you can just draw lines like that. But in the end, it's not going to really matter because now we're going to fill it in. So every like um, uh, one alternate uh, tooth, you can color it in. Like over here, see, I'm going to color this in. It's in the middle of both of these. Now this one, I'll also I'm going to color it in. And this one too. So it looks like his teeth are separated. Yeah, I like Freddy till now. He's looking a lot like the actual Freddy. So now we're gonna draw a little bow. He has a bow. So this is, I think Freddy's actually designed to entertain kids and people, but in the end, he's a bit scary. So now we're gonna over here, draw a little uh, square sticking out of his chin. Okay. Now his bow is a, little, uh, a bit curvy. It's not just a triangle. So we're gonna from here, draw a curved line going out. It's gonna curve in a bit like this. Then for the other side, it's gonna out of there go curve and just you can connect it into the chip because there's not a lot of space there. And you can do the same thing on the other side, like draw that shape, like that to curve and then another curve on top of it. Okay, I like Freddy's bow. So you can color it in black. So just go ahead and I'm gonna go and color in the sides. And for the center, if you've not already colored it, just stop for one second because you can color in it a bit and leave a little shiny spot if you want. That kind of makes it look cool. Because he's a robot, so they're not actually like clothes. They're actually robotic stuff that look makes look like clothes. 
I'm just gonna outline it. I mean, like, make this a bit bigger. Yeah. Okay. So now we can draw the rest of Freddy's body. So we're gonna, from over here, we're gonna start his belly. So um, from over here, like a little, leaving a little space from the bow over here, we're gonna draw a curved line coming out. Then it's gonna curve in a bit like this. Okay. And then we're gonna curve way out. Like, not too out, but yeah, a bit. Because bears are not thin. But he's actually quite thin for a bear, if you ask me. So, um, now we're gonna do curve in like that. So, we're gonna curve in like that. Okay. And we're also gonna go to the other side. While we're doing that. Like this, to curve around. And then we're gonna leave it there, okay? Because over here, when we draw his hand, it's, he's actually gonna be holding a mic because he's actually the lead singer of the um, the Five Nights at Freddy's. Uh, all the animatronics. He's the lead singer when they were when they're not scary. So yeah. Now over here, we're gonna draw a little a band thing that's connecting his arms. Actually, it's just a line. So. We're gonna, from over here, draw um, two lines sticking out, okay? Now you can just like, um, color it in. Like, make it look like a, just a black square. And from over here, you can also just draw a line coming out. One coming out from here, too. Now over here, we're gonna draw um, a little kind of rec like triangular shape, but it's a bit different. So we're gonna draw from over here um, a line connecting all of these things. And then going a little bit out and then curving in to that. See what I mean? It's like a tiny bit like a triangle. Okay, now from over here, we're gonna draw a curved shape. So from over here, we can draw a big curve going down till there, and then a straight line, and then you can curve from this side too. Just like that. Okay, I like that. Now, from over here, we're going to draw the other um, part of his arm. So, um, because the robots have a lot of parts connected to their arm. It's not just one long arm, because that won't be, they won't be able to move their arm, arms then around, I guess. So, now we're going to draw a similar shape like this over here. We're going to draw a curved kind of line over here. Okay, now then we're going to draw a curved line coming this way okay and you can curve over here and then you can curve back up yeah there's a lot of curves in this drawing because freddy is very uh curvy <laughs> so now um from over here you can draw a little line to make it look like it's connecting his arm you can just draw some lines inside that if you want okay and now from over here we're gonna draw two tiny lines sticking out, okay? And you can curve that, because that's a little part that's in the joint between his uh, fingers and his big arm. So now over here, we're gonna start by drawing a little thing, a little line coming out. It's gonna curve down till over here, and then it's gonna go a little in, just to show the finger details. Now, from over here, you can curve the line a little in like this okay so that's one finger he has three fingers over here and one thumb so imagine his hand without the pinky yeah. okay so we can draw the other finger which is basically the same thing we're just drawing another curve and it's more for you i guess and then we're gonna oh oh i can hit another dot there that's okay and um we're gonna draw another one over you but this time it's gonna curve over here and then curve around okay because now we're gonna draw the thumb so it's the thumb is just the same thing it's a u coming out of here though and it's going uh, all the way into there so over here you can just draw a little curve can you see that yeah so it's not exactly straight because freddy is a robot and his finger looks a bit weird, I guess. Because it is, actually. His finger is kind of sticking out like that, you know? Okay. So, um... 
Now I'm gonna draw the other arm. This one's gonna be a little more tricky because he's gonna be holding on to a mic. So um, over here, we're gonna start by drawing his, um, we're gonna start by drawing a little line from over here, I think, yeah. So we're gonna draw a line coming out from here and it's gonna go down to this, okay? And out of that, we're gonna draw a kind of triangular shape like we did here. So a little curve going out and curving back in. Now over here we can draw a big curve coming all the way around here. It's kind of sticking out from there. And then you can draw a big kind of upside down U over here. Okay. And from over here, we can also draw another curve connecting that, but it's going a little out like this and coming this way. Now you can draw another big curve. So there's a lot of detail that might not look like the arm yet, but once we're done, it will, because we have to draw him kind of looking like he's holding a mic. So now we're gonna draw the fingers over here. So first you can, of all, of all you can connect over here. Now we're gonna draw a line coming out like this. Now we can draw his fingers. So the first three fingers are normal. We're gonna draw the W's. 1W, 2W, and 3W. And now we're gonna draw the huge mic. So this is kind of cool. So um, the mic we're gonna draw, we're, we're gonna make this line go a bit back for the last finger over there. And we can draw a line coming out, which is a bit diagonal. You can draw another one coming out from here. Then you can connect it with a curved line. And then you can draw a big circle on top of that. Pretty cool. So now you can draw a little line curving inside that to make like a little separation in the mic. And you can draw some lines in the mic. You can actually color this part black of the mic because it is, in, I mean, in the design. So, um, over here for th to show the thumb at the back, you can just draw a curve line going in, curving in like that, and then you can just draw a diagonal line connecting to that. So pretty cool, right? It looks kind of like an ice cream, but once we color it, it'll look more like a mic. And over here, just so that it looks like it's not hanging in the air, the arm, we're gonna draw from over here a curve line going this way. And then it's gonna just connect and put a straight line going down. But over here, you can draw a curved line from the arm, the fingers going down there to connect. So it looks like it's all connected. Pretty cool. I, I'm liking this drawing so far, guys. Over here, you can just make a tiny arm because a tiny line because this looks a bit too big. Then let's draw a tiny line. Yeah. Okay. So now we're gonna draw his legs. There's a little piece before you start drawing the legs to connect the body. So first over here, we're gonna draw a curved line going out and it's gonna come a bit in. It's gonna go down, then go up and it's gonna overlap into like, the finger is overlapping it over there, but that's okay. And from over here to make it look like it's still overlapping, we're just gonna draw a curved line. So that's a piece that's gonna look like it's connecting to the um, legs. So now from over here, we're gonna draw a little um, kind of shape like that. So we're gonna draw a little line coming out first. Then we're gonna draw a line going all the way down to here. Then we're gonna draw a line going back in and just curving up. Okay, I like that. So now from over this side, we're gonna draw a similar shape, but just on the other side. You can draw a curve here, then draw a line going to the side, draw a line going up, and connecting it. Pretty cool. Okay, so now um, for the rest, we're gonna draw a little line coming down from over here, from both of these legs, and just connect it. That's like a bit of like a connecting piece. Okay, and then we're gonna draw a similar shape to this over here, but it's a bit different. So we're gonna draw a curve coming down, 
So you're gonna draw a line coming this way, and we're gonna go up. That looks a bit of the leg, okay? Now, um, you can do the same thing on this side, but don't make it too long because we need to leave space for the toes, right? So over here, we're gonna start the toes by drawing um, two lines, first going down for that, okay? And um, then we're gonna draw the toes. So firstly, we're gonna draw a curve going this way okay now from over here you can draw a little curve coming like sticking out from there okay and it can go a bit back and an easy way to draw the next toe is it's gonna be like overlapping it so we're gonna draw from over here a line coming out and curving in by that and coming back and for the last toe it can also be overlapping so we can draw uh, just a curved line for that can come around and just curve in to the top that's pretty simple right now we're gonna do the same thing on this side and it's facing the other way so we're gonna start off like we did with the other one with a curve on the top for that then we're gonna draw the little toe so we're gonna draw a curved line going to the side like that okay now from over here we're gonna draw another one of the toes overlapping like that and the last toe can just be a curved line and then you can come around to connect it so yeah guys i think we are mostly done with drawing freddy i really oh wait let's just con color these black ones a bit yeah okay i really liked doing this lesson guys it was so fun to draw him he's such a cool character and he's very simple to draw so now i'm going to be starting the coloring guys uh, i'm going to be using oh hoo hoo markers they're very nice to color with and they're very smooth so but you can use whatever you want you can use color pencils crayons or even markers like i am so um i'm gonna start the coloring and in the end you can pause it because i'm gonna be fast forwarding so you can pause it in the end to match the same coloring or you could even do your own coloring it doesn't really matter you can even make um so there's actually in five nights at freddy there's a golden freddy too so you can just go color this guy yellow or golden and make him a golden freddy so yeah it's up to you guys so I'm going to see you after the coloring, guys, in 3, 2, 1, bye bye Okay guys, so I finished coloring Freddy and he looks amazing. This has been such a cool video guys, I love it. And you can pause the video here guys if you want to match my same coloring. Or you could even do your own coloring. It doesn't really matter as I said at the before. So, but I'm going to explain what I did here for his coloring. So Freddy is actually basically just brown. But some parts I did it was like the mic is different. But the eyes. So I'm going to bring it a bit closer so you can see. Um, the eyes. They're a bit blue. I colored a tiny bit of them blue because that... Uh, because freddy's eyes are actually a bit blue but we didn't have too much space so i colored a bit of the eyeball blue so i really liked how this turned out guys you can pause the video here i hope you um enjoyed and um yeah i'm just gonna give you a clear view and yeah make sure everything's good okay so if you like the video guys please go ahead and press the like button and subscribe if you haven't already because a lot of people who watch my videos aren't subscribed and yeah check out my other videos the latest one before this was i think yeah it was the minecraft portal the nether portal which is very good too so go check that out and since i like this so much i'm gonna do all the other animatronics guys from five nights at freddy's so i hope you guys will be waiting for that too goodbye